Hi, welcome to Advaita and welcome to this video series in which we were discussing the 78 principles of reality transurfing and different concepts from Upanishads and Gita and how they correlate and how they together help us understand reality better. Now let's look at the fifth principle which is the world mirror. The world is what you think of it. The world is a mirror that reflects your relationship to it. Life is a game in which the world puts the same riddle to all its inhabitants. Okay, guess what do I look like? Everyone responds in their own way, according to their own perception. You are aggressive or you are cozy or even cheerful, gloomy, friendly, hostile, happy, ill-fated. The interesting thing is that in this quiz, everyone is a winner. The world agrees with everyone and appears before each according to the guise that was ordered. What do you think of your world? The interpretation. When a person is convinced that all the best things in this world have already been sold out, their shelves will remain empty. When they think that buying high quality item will mean standing in a huge queue and then parting with large sum of money, then that is exactly what will happen. If a person's expectations are pessimistic and riddled with doubt, then they will undoubtedly be justified. If a person expects to meet with an unfriendly environment, their misgivings will be proven true. However, when a person is imbued with the innocent thought that the world has reserved the best in life for them, this also works. The eccentric who does not know that nothing can be achieved without a struggle somehow finds himself or herself at the counter where there has just been a fresh delivery as if timed especially for them. Then they suddenly learn that the first buyer gets everything for free. A long queue forms behind them of people who know that the reality of life is pretty miserable and all other fools were just lucky. If someday when confronted with the realities of life, the lucky eccentric changes their opinion of the world, their reality will change accordingly and when they finally open their eyes to the truth, they will be thrown right to the very back of the queue. This is a very powerful concept, uh, which is the world mirror. We need to understand that this entire universe is like a mirror. There is two things, right? One is subject and the other one is object. We are the subject who are experiencing this universe. And then there is the universe itself, which is being experienced through us. So if we look at Advaita Vedanta, we understand that everything is Brahman. Everything comes from one single source. But that same Brahman has manifested itself as Atman, which is a reflected consciousness through which we are experiencing this universe. So this universe is like a mirror. We are born here to create the life that we want to live. We are here to have experiences that we wanted to have. So this universe and your life need not be a prison. You can be creators of your life and live the way you want to if you understand certain fundamental principles in which this universe works. One of the most important principles that I have come across is the world mirror. If we look at this universe as a mirror, it is simply giving back to us what we give it. But the problem is there is a gestation period. So there is a certain gap between the things that we project onto the universe and what the universe shows to us. So this is why so many of us are confused and so many of us don't understand this principle. If the world were to instantly give us what we showed it, everyone would understand this principle and live the way they wanted to live. But it takes time for the physical universe to reflect back what we are projecting onto it in the energy form. So this is a small concept that we need to understand, which is the gestation period. So it takes a while for the physical universe to adjust itself according to our new personalities. So keeping this in mind, what we need to do is that we need to organize our lives the way we want to and put only positivity into the world so that our world can in turn project positivity back to us. So the world and everything within the world and every single person that we encounter are just like mirrors who are reflecting back to us what we subconsciously project onto them. We don't have to work on this universe. All we have to do is to work on ourselves. If we work on ourselves and build something within the way we want to, it will eventually get manifested within the world. So this was all about the world mirror. 
If you like information like this, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next one.